Welcome back to GH Crew. Today's hurdle is understanding your new smart home. Let's get over this hurdle. In today's video, we will cover how a smart home communicates and operates. Now, if you already have a basic understanding of how a smart home works, this video might not be for you. But if you just want to know where to start, stick with me through the end of this video. Let's start off by going over some of the everyday uses of a smart home. A smart house can turn on your light from across the room so you don't have to walk around in the dark. A smart home can fill your home with your favorite music with just the command of your voice. It can even adjust your thermostat or allow you to keep tabs on your home without you being there. There are so many things a smart home can do that we just don't have time to cover in one video. In this video, I will provide an overview of how this complex system operates. Let's get started. Now what I've done here is laid out all of the different components of a smart home. I know it looks a little bit intimidating at first, but by the end of this video, I think all of this is going to make sense. A smart home can be whatever you want it to be. It can be complex, like the one that you see sitting in front of you, or it can be as simple as one Echo device set up to listen to your commands. Now if you already have wireless internet set up in your home, you already have a modem and a router. The modem is what provides internet to your home. The wireless router will disperse the internet wirelessly throughout your home. Now depending on the type of router that you're using, it might be strong or fast enough to power your new smart home. If not, you can always shop at the store at Daily Hurdles where we have provided a Wi-Fi router that is strong enough and fast enough to power your new smart home. The only thing you really need to power a smart home is one of these. This is an Echo Dot. Once set up, an Echo Dot will be connected to the wireless router. This dot can do a number of different things, including set alarms, basic mathematics, play music, or even create a shopping list for you. This is what I consider to be the most basic smart home that you could purchase. If this is the only device that you're going to use, it's not necessary to purchase a hub. But if you plan on adding any other devices to your smart home, a hub is a necessity. Think of the hub as a command center. This command center is what allows all of your different devices to communicate to your wireless router. So at this point, our modem and our router are connected. Once you hook up and connect your new hub, it will be connected to your wireless router. With this setup, you're only going to have one access point for your smart home to listen to your voice. An Echo Dot is a relatively inexpensive option for a smart home, but it is only located in one section of your house. So if you're on the other end of the house, this dot will not hear you. This is why I recommend to install other Echo devices, such as this Echo device, or this Echo device, which is an Echo Show. All of these devices are different in price, but they also allow you to accomplish different things. If you really like to listen to music, I would suggest buying a basic Echo because it has the best speaker. If you're interested in video calls or viewing recipe or song lyrics, you might want to consider an Echo Show. An Echo Dot will perform most of the functions of the other two Echoes. It won't pick up your voice as well as the other two Echoes will, but you will save a lot of money. So these devices themselves don't use the hub. They're going to connect directly to the Wi-Fi. You can see that by the lines going directly to the Wi-Fi. So far in this video, you can see that none of the devices directly connect to the Wink hub. So at this point, it's really not necessary. 
but if you intend on installing any other smart devices, like thermostats, doorbells, lights, or switches, this is where the hub is a necessity. Any Echo device can power almost any smart light bulb, pictured here. The smart light bulb, once installed, will connect to the smart hub. So this light bulb is connected to this hub. This hub is connected to the Wi-Fi router. If you follow the arrows, you'll see that this dot is connected to this router. This router can communicate this way if you follow the arrows. So because of that, this dot can control this light bulb. Another useful thing to install is a smart switch. We're going to install the smart switch here. And this smart switch is going to connect to the smart hub. Now, the arrows are going to start to get a little bit confusing, but if you follow them directly, you can see this dot is connected to the Wi-Fi, which is connected to the hub, which is connected to this smart switch. So point A to point B, this Echo Dot can now control this smart switch. You can use a smart switch to power any hardwired light. For example, your kitchen light or the light in your foyer. Another useful thing to have is a smart plug. A smart plug can power all sorts of devices. A smart plug, again, will directly connect to your hub. If we follow the arrows, because this plug is connected to this hub and this hub is connected to the Wi-Fi, any of these Echo devices can control this smart plug. Because all of these devices are connected to Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter where you are in your home, you can control any device plugged into a smart plug from anywhere in your home. For example, with a smart plug, you can power lamps, bedroom lights, or even your Christmas tree. At this point in the video, we're going to start to get a little bit more complex. For example, this Ring Video Doorbell. A Ring Video Doorbell can connect directly to your router. If you have a Ring Video Doorbell and you have an Echo Show, you can tell your device to show you the Ring Video Doorbell. And this works because, again, follow the arrows, the show is connected to the router, which is connected to the doorbell. Once you ask, it'll display your video doorbell camera on your show device. So you can see who's at the front door. Another feature you can add is an Arlo camera system. This camera system has a built-in hub for the cameras, so it's not necessary to have a hub. So we're going to connect it directly to Wi-Fi. If you have an Echo Show, you can tell it, Alexa, show me my Arlo camera. And because it's connected to the router, which is connected to the Arlo, it will show you whichever camera you ask for. These cameras can be set up outside or anywhere throughout your home that you want to see. They even have a smartphone app that allows you to view your cameras from your smart home even while you're at the office. The last thing I'll show you is this Echo Smart Thermostat. We're going to install the thermostat here. Again, a hub is not necessary for these because they can connect directly to Wi-Fi. Because they're all connected, this dot, this show, or that Echo device can control this thermostat. Any of these Echo devices can hear your voice and it'll hear you say, Alexa, set my thermostat to 75 degrees. So because everything is connected, it's all working simultaneously, meaning you can power any one of these devices from any of these devices at the same time. Now, because everything is connected by Wi-Fi and hubs, your voice can control any of these devices by a simple command. Alexa, set my thermostat. Alexa, show me my doorbell. Alexa, turn on the Christmas tree. Alexa, turn on the dining room light. Alexa, 
show me my Arlo camera. We hope this video gives you a little bit better understanding of your new smart home. And if you wish to purchase any of these devices, please visit the shops at dailyhurdles.com. For a more in-depth tutorial on each of these devices, make sure to like and subscribe to the Daily Hurdles YouTube channel, or visit the product review section at dailyhurdles.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.